A short while ago, Florida was hit by two fairly significant hurricanes. The stronger of the two was the former and hit the Fort Myers area and leveled parts of that area. Someone who witnessed Hurricane Michael firsthand, Cat 5, a few years ago in Panama City, uh, it can destroy entire homes, it can destroy cars, it can destroy everything inside of your home, especially if your roof goes. And while I know it's not a very significant material thing in the grand scheme of things, I'm a PC guy. And I reached out to folks in the area asking if anyone had a broken system as a result of the hurricane, whether it had been rained on, something had fallen on it, who knows? I wanted a chance to either fix the rig or outright replace it. And that is why this video exists. Now, obviously, replacing a PC is not gonna be high on the priority list. You're gonna be worried about things like your house, you're gonna be worried about things like your car, you're gonna be worried about your family members. First and foremost, the health of your loved ones, whether or not they have access to clean water, uh, food. It, just, it comes with the territory, unfortunately, of living in a state like this that is impacted by hurricanes quite frequently. So when the individual in question, who you will see more than likely toward the end of this video, reached out about a rig of his that was totally flooded after his house sustained damage uh, during the second hurricane here in Orlando, I knew he would be the perfect candidate for a video like this. Now, coincidentally, NCXT reached out around the time all this was going down, asking about sponsoring a video for their new BLD kits. Typically, when you buy from NCXT's BLD site, you get a pre-built of some sort. It's either a curated list that they pre-assemble uh, for you, or you buy an actual pre-built that they've assembled beforehand. But this kit actually includes in the box every single component you'll need to assemble a rig, but that's just it you still get to assemble it. Basically, this is an excellent choice for someone who is maybe new to PC building, but wants the hand-on experience. Maybe you're concerned about parts compatibility. That was a big fear of mine when I first started building PCs. This takes care of that for you. NCXT curates the parts, but you do all the building. Pretty cool, huh? And then I figured while we talk about this in this video, we'll assemble everything. I'll show you how it all works. Why not just give this away? We'll give this to that person I just described who had his previous rig flooded out by one of the uh, earlier hurricanes this year. I think it'll be a really cool combination. We can kill two birds with one stone. NCXT gets the publicity, of course, which is what they want in the sponsored video, but they also get to see this thing being handed to somebody who, uh, who yeah, went through a lot and who would love to have a replacement rig free of charge. So stick around. I think this will be a really cool one. Stay with me. Let's kick things off then, shall we? I've already kind of cheated and taken everything out of the box. So let's walk you through what we get in this particular kit. This, of course, will depend on the kit you buy. Uh, first off, we've got an RTX 3060 Ti, pretty sweet graphics card, still very relevant and can game very well in 1080p and 1440p, uh, some modern titles. We've got a C650 bronze power supply. We've got uh, this random box here. Well, it looks random, but it actually has important stuff in it. So it has our CPU in it, it has our RAM in it, as well as our M.2 drive and I believe Windows is pre-installed on the drive, so that's really cool. It keeps, uh, yeah, just fiddling with software to a minimum. Uh, we have a Gamax GTE V2 for our CPU cooler. Uh, we have a really cool toolbox here. Actually comes with a, a few different tools, tons of different bits, zip ties are in here, etc. And then we have a box with our motherboard in it, as well as a Wi-Fi card if the board doesn't support onboard Wi-Fi. This down here is our case, and this was also in the box, just for reference, it all comes in one big box. Uh, and then we also have this really cool adventures map for PC building and this is super detailed now at first glance you might think wow this is like a ton of info for just building a PC but NZXT was very very specific here I mean look they have like a whole section dedicated to just installing the cooler in question right the orientation of the uh, the back plate or the little bracket that goes behind the motherboard it's it's very detailed and I'd rather be more detailed than not especially for a first-time builder so starting off with level one in the book then I feel like I'm reading a children's story but for adults which is kind of cool it's a throwback but uh, it works, it's effective, and there's again, tons of pictures, tons of animation in here to walk you through things if you don't wanna use a video like this. So level one is installing the memory, which is pretty straightforward. It shows us which two components we're gonna be using here, uh, the motherboard, of course, and the DIMMs, which are in this box. By the way, you can also scan these QR codes for video walkthroughs of this stuff, which again, is basically what YouTubers like myself already do, but it's nice to have something that uh, fully complements the book here. So if you want a cheat sheet, just scan this. This board tells us that slots B2 and A2 are the first to populate. So that'll be this one right here. We're gonna push down until we feel a decent amount of resistance, and then we're gonna push very hard on one side until we hear a click. 
There you go. And then hard on this side till we hear that other click and this little retention clip should slide all the way back into the upright position. We'll do the same for this second dim. We're gonna push down until we feel that resistance. Boom. And well, that one didn't click, but it went all the way up. So we're good to go. Next, the book tells us to install our processor, which is in this bag right here. Looks like it's gonna be maybe an 11th gen chip. I don't think it's 12th gen, it's a smaller than 12th gen. So this here is an 11400F. Yep, Core i5, not bad. I'm gonna very gently drop it in the socket and then we're gonna lower the retention arm all the way. We'll save this just in case we need to return things later. Next, we've our NVMe to install. We're gonna get this standoff secure first and we're gonna line this up uh, according to the length of the drive. The one we're gonna be using is uh, a WD Blue, one terabyte included in the kit, of course. It's very easy to install these. You're just gonna slot it in, mine to the key, which is gonna be off to one side. And then we're gonna hold this down. Let me see if I can do this in one continuous shot here. We're gonna use our included NZXT small Phillips head screwdriver and tighten things down with a small Phillips screw that you'll get in the motherboard box. There we go, it's that simple. Next up, the book tells us to tackle CPU cooler installation. This being an air cooler, we're gonna go ahead and install it all the way. Uh, the book, by the way, has all of this in order. This is exactly how I'd tell you to do it. I'm not surprised, NCXT kinda sorta does this for a living. We're gonna apply some thermal paste included with the CPU cooler kit. This is probably, yeah, this is definitely a bit more than we actually need, but that's okay. And we're gonna gently lower the cooler onto the chip through these threads. Then we'll tighten things down with these four uh, spring-loaded screws here. Make sure we have enough mounting pressure. That's important for uh, a working cooler like this. You wanna make sure that it's torqued down enough it's actually able to do its job. Make sure to cross tighten. Don't tighten one side all the way down or you'll end up just smushing all of that thermal paste to one corner of the CPU and that will affect thermals. Next, we wanna install our back plate. This will be in your motherboard's box, at least it should be. Uh, if you're buying an NZXT BLD kit, it definitely will be. Now, NZXT tells us to place our motherboard in the case. We're gonna use these 632 screws to secure it in place. Easy does it here. We've got a central standoff that's gonna really help us guide things in. We can also reference our rear IO shield to make sure it's all aligned. There we go. All right, that's it. And we'll just tighten it down. Now we can set the case upright and admire the work we've done so far. It looks very clean now, but we need to take care of front IO wiring that includes the USB 3.0 cable, the type C cable, front IO, uh, well, specifically the power button, uh, reset switch, any of that, if it applies, and the HD audio cable down here to the bottom left. That's where we're gonna connect that one. Also don't wanna forget our case fans. There's two in the H510. And now it's time for PSU installation, our trusty C. 650 bronze. This is a semi-modular unit, which is basically as good as a fully modular one. I mean, to be honest, like most of the cables that are hardwired to a semi-modular unit, you're gonna use anyway. So it doesn't hurt that these are hardwired, uh, but the extra things like SATA power, Molex power, those you can add uh, if you need them. I don't think in this build we actually do though, because we're using an M.2 drive and we don't have any other peripherals that need special power. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this in fan side down. You could install this fan side up because the PSU is vented. I just like to uh, like to keep it simple, fan down. It's isolated from the rest of the system. We can go ahead and wire things like our 24 pin here. Also like that these cables are all black, so they don't look super cringy. Ketchup and mustardy, right? Very, very clean looking. Now it's time to cable manage. And for this, I'm gonna have Jeremy put together some super cool transition between this clip and the next that is like way above his pay grade. Right, Jeremy? Right, now we just need to cut these zip ties here. And I think she'll look pretty darn clean. And the last thing we've got here is this uh, PCIe eight pin daisy chain cable. I wonder what this could be for. Hmm, let's see, what does NZXT say it's for? Oh, our GPU, our graphics card. Wouldn't you have known? It's right here. And this again is a 3060 Ti, which is gonna be a heck of a card, especially for 1080p and 1440p modern gaming. It's not the latest architecture, of course, as of time of filming, we only have the 4080 and the 4090 uh, from Ada Lovelace out anyway, so it wouldn't make sense for a budget build. Uh, but for the amount of money you're paying, even for this 
you know, curated kit from NZXT, uh, this is gonna go a very long way. Just gotta remove the two rear PCIe slot covers that align with the full length 16 lane slot on the motherboard. That'll be uh, these two right here. We'll push back on this retention clip and we'll very carefully slide the card into place. This uh, usually takes a few seconds unless you're an amateur like me who has no idea what he's doing. Here we go. Right on. And then we can secure the card with the two screws that we uh, use to remove the slot covers. Also, can't forget to connect supplemental PCIe power. And there we are, folks. We just knocked out the whole book and it only took me uh, live about an hour, hour and a half. I mean, it's gonna take you longer your first time, I get that. But the book details everything. Again, you can also reference those QR codes for video links. It, it's very straightforward, and NZXT, I think, does a really good job spelling it all out for you. If you have any questions at all, the answer is probably in here. It also doesn't hurt, in my opinion, that this rig looks absolutely gorgeous for as simple as it is, just an air cooler, and uh, well, nothing really fancy going on underneath. There's no capture card or anything. So there is some dead space. I still think it looks really good. Uh, we cleaned up cable management. It's very easy to do in the H510, uh, as well as the newer H5 cases. All around, mwah. The last thing to do then, before obviously giving this away to its soon to be new owner, is power it on. I wanna make sure that it actually works before giving it away, that would be uh, unfortunate. Not a good look on me or in ZXT for that matter, since they're invested in this as well. Let's power it on. We're gonna check that all the fans are spinning. We're gonna make sure that the RGB is lit. It looks like it is. Looking really good. The card, I think, has a zero stop uh, function for its fans, so until it gets under a pretty heavy load, you won't even hear the card because it's, it's not getting super hot. It doesn't need it. Uh, just gonna make sure that we boot into Windows from what I understand. Windows is already loaded on the NVMe, like we mentioned earlier, so that would be really nice to, uh, to see just less work for the end user. And okay, so this looks good. It's detecting a new CPU install. It's gonna want us to enter setup and configure things. We're gonna enable, uh, in this case, it'll be XMP more than likely for the rig. And then we'll reset and hopefully boot into that OS. Very easy to do in this BIOS. Just gonna to toggle down to XMP, click enter and then click enable. And then you'll see we actually have the, uh, the optimal frequency for these dims already in the system. So that's great to see. And all we need to do now is reset. And here we are. This actually looks like Windows 11, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, it's nice that uh, an operating system is already preloaded on the NVMe. So it's just hands off, peace of mind. And uh, that, that's what you really want. In, in something that's curated like this, especially from NZXT, their BLD kits are very straightforward. You shouldn't have really any issues at all walking through the steps, even if it's your first time building. And that's really what they're what they're targeting here. I mean, if you've built tons of systems, you probably don't need any of this. So this isn't really relevant. But for those who are just afraid to dip the toe in the deep end, right? If you're just, you're unsure if it's even for you, you're just maybe considering a pre-built because you don't have the time or you don't think that you have the knowledge to do it. My friends, PC building is very simple. And in, in, in fact, I would say that the most difficult part about building is picking the components beforehand and making sure that they all work together. And that is what the BLD kit does for you already. So if you want that hands-on experience, if you wanna learn how to build a PC for the first time, be sure to check out NZXT's BLD kits. They're being offered via the link in this video's description. I also wanna take a moment uh, to thank specifically Andy from NZXT for just being so cool about my intent with this video. Obviously they want the exposure, they're paying for it. That's the, the purpose of any marketing campaign is largely to drive sales or to drive awareness to something. And when I told him what I wanted to do with this rig, he was all on board. He was okay with that being the, the underlying narrative of this entire Thing. So uh, be sure to show them some love if you haven't already. If you're new to this and you're watching uh, and, and maybe just discovered the BLD kit for the first time, be sure to check out that link. Uh, they're not gonna charge you much over what you'd pay yourself to buy these components. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's not even a build fee because they're not building anything for you. They're just assembling all the components in their boxes into one big box so that you can do the work. And I think that's really freaking cool. All right, so the last thing we need to do here, again, admiring this beautiful rig that uh, really doesn't cost all that much. Uh, a year ago, it definitely would have, but uh, you can build something like this for around $1,000 ballpark today. That's pretty darn cool. 
Uh, we are going to get the left side panel on. I'm gonna throw in the extra PSU cables, a few other things that the owner might need. And we're gonna package this up in the car and surprise the new owner. Um, I'm actually in talks with him currently. He's gonna meet us where we usually meet to pick up, fix, or flop and PCDC builds. And we'll try to get his reaction on camera. I, I hope he's okay with it. Again, not contingent on that at all, but uh, I, I do wanna ask him if he'd be okay with that. It'd be really cool to catch his, uh, catch his surprise on video. So stick around to the very end. Again, thanks for watching this one. I'm gonna go ahead and formally close it. Give NZXT that shout, check out their link below, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Greg, thanks for building with me. All right, just pulled up. Hopefully the audio isn't totally trash, and uh, let's see if we can catch that reaction. Okay, we're here with uh, Ignacio. And uh, his system, if I recall correctly, so it was destroyed in the hurricane, yeah? Yes, it just got flooded fine. out. Yeah, yeah hurricane. The, the storm, but the hurricane. Right? Yeah, the hurricane, yeah, yeah, Hurricane Danielle. Yep, and uh, he sent me some pictures of it just on the side of the road. Very disappointing that it had to end that way. But we've got him something new, and uh, this is all with the help of uh, NZXT. They gave us an entire build kit here, and uh, pretty much, here, if you want to set that up for yeah. me, thank you, sorry. <laughs> Doing the one-handed thing. Awesome, yeah, That's so amazing, man. yeah, so this is part of their BLD kit. You can buy the kits and they'll just send you all the parts and you can build it yourself, which is pretty cool. And uh, so this here has a, a Core i5 11th gen in it. It's got a 3060 Ti in it. I mean, amazing, it's, man. it's, That's it's freaking loaded. Yeah, it's a uh, so bit of an upgrade for you. Yeah, yeah from what I you mean, had? I'm, I'm, I'm grateful because I told you I, I wanted to buy it and you told me like, no, we're, I'm, we're going to send you with, with one free and it's more than I like, could ever ask for that. Well, I'm really grateful for this. I appreciate you driving out here. I know it's not very, uh, not very close to you, but, no, uh, but it's, it's okay. a beast. It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beast. You yeah, can tell it. It's, it's a, and I got the extra cables down there too, in case you're worried. Oh, okay, that's uh, in case you add a peripherals and things later on. So that's perfect. That's so, incredible. Yeah. Well, thanks Ignacio for driving out, for being Thank a good you, sport. Man. And, uh, yeah, uh, all the best to you. Hopefully the system doesn't give you any issues. It shouldn't, if it does, just give me a ring. I'll, I will tell you. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thank you, thank thank you guys. You. We'll see you in the next video. Perfect, that's all it was, Thanks, man. man. You